Good morning. It is day two of our Key West door bust. The roosters, they're, I think they're fighting. <laughs> All right, so we are out bright and early for day two of our Key West or bus adventure. We have a chartered boat and we're going snorkeling. So we're just walking through town and making our way to our boat charter. So let's go have some fun. It was just a short walk around the harbor from our meetup spot over to the boat that we were going to be on that day. They said it was about an hour out. I don't think it would really took that long. And so we just went out until we got to the coral spot and then they had everything for us, life jackets, flippers, all of the snorkeling gear. I personally am like grossed out by that, so I just didn't use the mouthpiece, I used the goggles, they were great. And they had a place that they docked at and we got to go snorkeling. What'd you think? Okay, uh, I like fish and I love jellyfish, but if you ever come here, then just know that the jellyfish won't hurt you if you don't move too much. Yeah, you just swim away. Good. I do wish we had chartered a later time, but I understand that with the big group thing, with a full day, we had to go early because look at how nice it got as we were leaving. But there was a lot of wind. You can hear it behind me. Oh my goodness. But we got back on the boat. Everyone had an hour to snorkel and then we kind of just hung out until everyone was back. The kids were throwing food overboard. It was so funny and bringing all these fish. So we actually got to sit and see all these fish at the edge of the boat. Again, we did see them in the water, but it was just kind of fun that they were throwing little Cheerios in for the fish to see. As a whole, I would just say it's a really cool experience, but maybe just be aware about the parent to adult ratio. Um, my kids had a hard time and they wanted to be glued to me. So you can see they're relaxed now, but they definitely had moments of being very stressed out in the ocean. The fact that you can't stand up and they all know how to swim. It's not a swimming issue. It's just a, I'm literally in the middle of the ocean. There's nowhere to stand. I can't just like stop anywhere. And they just couldn't conceptualize that but they were fine and then we came back into Key West. It turned out to be a much nicer day than it was in the morning and this is just coming in as you make a round around the island and it was great. They had music going and everything. Right after we went and had lunch and then started our walk over towards Duval Street. I'll pin where we parked because that's kind of where all this is based out of. We did stop at this really cool gallery. I was just trying to be respectful by not videoing inside, but there's just those funny things along the way like this and other little touristy things as we were making our way over towards Duval Street and our next meetup. Here was one place I want to show you. This is one of the places on our crawl. We Methesan's okay. Ice Cream and Candy Shop. Oh I'm voicing over only because we were painfully loud. They had the most amazing cookies, Oh my gosh, they had key lime pies. They had like chocolate dipped key lime pies as well. They had many, many, many very cool and delicious ice cream flavors. You can test them out. All of the kids were testing and trying all the different flavors. They loved it. Okay. How is the ice cream, bud? It's really good. Don't even ask. It's really good. It's really good. The funnest decor. After we finished up our ice cream, we were again heading down to go see all the sites. There's so many cool historical buildings down here that this was a whole other thing you could have done. We didn't. But getting down towards Duval Street, there is a lot of like touristy stuff on the way. And then we were coming down to Mallory Square, which is a really cool area um, to go and stop by. Not like a look, don't touch kind of thing, bud. But I understand the desire because you want to know if it works. You know what it reminds me of, Jack? Christmas markets. Right? Jackson, there's a, ch a chicken right behind you. But we should get an ornament, though. These are fun. From the back side of Mallory Square, which is that first little spot with the white buildings, there is a huge statue garden to the right, which is really cool. Some of our group stayed there to do the next activity. Some of us went out to the waterfront to go do sunset painting on the water. So there's areas to go sit. There's all kinds of stuff happening back there. Following painting, it was time for us to go walk over 
to where our dinner was going to be. And so it's just cool to see stuff at night, see the sunset, see everything lighting up. And we had probably a 15 minute walk, which was great. It's very easy to walk this city. It's all flat. It's well lit. And at this nighttime, you're seeing a lot of really cool historic buildings, especially as you start to move across the town. And so this is where we came and had our group dinner. I understand that this may not be, you know, a touristy thing, but it was a really cool place over at the Kimpton Hotels. And then we had ghost stories out back. They had this whole cool area set up for us, mood lighting, chairs, so that we could do ghost stories, which was more like historic stories of Key West. The lady was absolutely, she was hilarious. She was so knowledgeable. If I can find her information, I will link her because she does book parties typically for older, more like adults, bachelorette parties, that kind of stuff. But it was amazing. And the kids got up and they were goofing around too beforehand. That's what you're seeing right now is actually my daughter. But it was so cool to get to learn more about the history of Key West um, and kind of how it came to be, how they populated it, how there's so many dead people there. <laughs> Not to sound morbid, but it was absolutely a fantastic day and we got to see so much of the city. All right, it is like 7.30 at night, day two. What a day full of so much cool exploring. Spooky, we are, yes, we had our spooky stories. We had our dinner together. We've done our painting, we did everything tonight. So we're walking back to our car. <laughs> Unfortunately, not parked by where we finished the day. So got a little bit of a walk and we still have day three, which is fantastic. We can't wait to see what tomorrow holds. All of the team building, the exploring has been fantastic. Beautiful. Just a great, yes, beautiful, great adventure. We've loved it. So that's it from us for day two. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and come back for day three. We'll see ya.